Hey students, so I'm here to discuss the solution of another question. So this is from your NCRT book, exercise 2.2, question number 1, part 5. Alright, so let's quickly take a look at the question. So find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial that is t square minus 15 and verify the relationship between the zeros and its coefficients. So this question, these type of questions are basically good from examination point of view. So first of all, question is asking us to find the zeros and then we will verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. So finding the zeros is very simple. So this is a quadratic polynomial. So to find the zeros, first we have to equate this polynomial to 0. Once you equate this to 0, so t square minus 15 is equals to 0, what do I get? I get t square equals to 15. When I take square to the other sides, we get two values, t is going to be plus minus root 15. So these plus minus root 15 are nothing, these are the zeros for this quadratic polynomial. Now talking about the next part of the question, which is asking to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. So these are the zeros. These are nothing but these are actually alpha and beta, right? So first I'm going to find out the sum of zeros, which is alpha plus beta. So let's first find the sum. Once I add them up, obviously the values are same, but they're opposite in nature, opposite in sign. So that's going to be zero. So sum of zeros is zero here. Product of zeros, simply we will multiply them. Root 15, root 15 gives us 15. There is a negative sign here, so minus 15. Now, what I'm going to do is, in this polynomial, if you see, if you compare this with the general form of the polynomial, that's ax squared plus bx plus c. So, instead of x, we have the variable t over here. So, nothing is written with t, that means a over here is going to be 1. The term with single t is not here, right? So, that means b is 0 and the constant term over here is going to be minus 15. We are just comparing it. So we have the values of a, b and c. Now I'm going to find the sum of zeros again, but this time I'll be using this relation minus b by a. That's going to be minus 0 by 1, which is going to be 0 only. Similarly for product of zeros, that's c by a, which is going to be minus 15 by 1. So that would be minus 15. So what we see from here is sum of zeros is 0 here. This is 0, zero here as well. Product of zeros is minus 15 here and here as well it is minus 15. Hence verified. So this is what we were supposed to verify here. Now leave a comment for me in the comment section how you like the video.